top 10 resources for the ATITs. Hey, it's John with Smart Edition Academy, and in today's video, you're gonna learn about the top 10 best resources for the ATITs. And this is gonna be everything from YouTube videos to Quizlets, practice tests, websites, all the way down the line, all the best resources so that you know where to go. Number 10 on our list is Brandon Kraft. He is an absolute wizard at math and he's got an amazing YouTube channel that you need to check out. He's got hundreds of videos on there, his website, he's got a Facebook group, check all that stuff out, he is amazing. Number nine on the list is Jakara Lewis. She is also a math wizard and she's got an amazing teaching style that really seems to resonate with people. So check out her YouTube channel. She's got tons of videos on there as well. Uh, also a Facebook group, so make sure you join those and check her out. Number eight on the list is Carolyn McAllister, and she's got an amazing YouTube channel for English and reading. Now she's a professor who has taught TEAST courses, so she really knows what she's talking about, and she's just got tons of videos on there that are really, really helpful. So she's gonna be your go-to for the reading in English. Up next is number seven on our list, and that is Science with Susanna. She has a great YouTube channel for a &P where she draws all of the illustrations for all of those systems, she talks through it, and then she's also got a Quizlet that, that we'll talk about in a minute as one of our top 10 resources. So that brings us right into our next top 10 resource, which is gonna be number six on the list, and that is Quizlet.com. Now, if you're not familiar with Quizlet, Quizlet is a great website that has pretty much flashcards uh, and flashcard sets and decks uh, on the website. Now, one of the things with Quizlets is there is so much on there. It can be a good thing, but it can also be a bad thing. So you just gotta watch out. It's very saturated. If you search for Tease Quizlets, you're probably gonna find something like a thousand different Quizlets. So it's kind of hard to know what are the good ones, what are the not so good ones, which ones actually have the topics that are on the test. Uh, they might have too much on it or not enough. So it's just kind of hard to know. And one of the reasons is because that is all mostly user generated content from other students. So there can be typos or errors or misinformation, so just kind of be careful for that. But other than that, if you know what you're looking for and you know the topics that are on the test, it's an absolutely great resource. Number five on our list is Khan Academy. Really, really great website. Uh, if you don't know Khan Academy, it's been around for a really long time and they have videos for just about everything you could possibly want to learn. And the original instructor, Sal, is just got a really great teaching style. So people love that website. But again, with that website is that there is so much on it. You really need to know the topics that are gonna be on the TEAS so you know what videos to find. You don't wanna get caught you know, watching trigonometry videos when that's just not gonna be on the TEAS. So you really gotta know the topics you're looking for, but once you know that you can go onto that website and it's gonna have tons and tons of videos for you now smart edition does have videos that go over each and every topic for each of the subjects so you can use a video like that that really outlines what you need to know and then go to a bunch of these resources that we're talking about and dig into those topics number four on the list is going to be free practice tests. This is one of the best ways to study and if you can just get the repetition of practicing these questions and do it in uh, a format that's similar to the actual test, it's really gonna help prepare you. So there's a couple good resources for free practice tests. Um, what you'll probably find is that most websites that have practice tests are gonna be kind of limited, so they might give you 10 questions or 15 questions, but they're not gonna give you, you know, 53 science questions, which is what the real test is like. Some websites that I know that do do that is uh, Union Test Prep, Com. They have a full-length practice test. And then you can check the links below. Smart Edition Academy has a full-length practice test that has the exact number of questions. The questions are very similar to the actual test. It's a time test. And it's actually one of the tests that uh, is included with our online courses or our study guides. Number three on our list is Facebook study groups. Now, a lot of people aren't on Facebook as much as things like TikTok or Instagram or other social media platforms, but it really is hands down. The Facebook study groups for TEAS are just a really, really good resource. Again, we have a link in the description below for the Smart Edition Academy Facebook study group. And what you'll find in these groups are really thousands of people who are also preparing for the TEAS and they're sharing what resources are working. This is where we're coming up with this list of top 10 best resources. And 
and if you have a question and you ask that on the Facebook study group, you'll probably get 10 people that answer your question within five or 10 minutes. Uh, so it's just a really good resource. It's a good community. It's a bunch of positive people who are all trying to achieve the same goal, get to the same place. So uh, definitely check out those uh, Facebook study groups. I mentioned Brandon Kraft and Jakara Lewis. They have study groups for math specifically. So check those out. It's a great top 10 resource. Coming in at number two is going to be study guides. So your traditional print book study guides. People have sworn by these for the longest time. I think things are changing a little bit. People are going kind of more towards online courses and things like that, but you still can get a really good uh, information and resources from these study guides. So if you go on Amazon, what you're gonna see is way too many books and a lot of them are not very good. I've been doing this for a long time, so I know that a lot of these books that are on Amazon are kind of fly-by-night companies that that are here today, gone tomorrow, slap together a book. A lot of them are not good. I would steer clear of them. Uh, so many of them have so many fake reviews, it's not even funny. They put a book up, they put 300 fake reviews on it, and they get everybody to buy a really subpar book that is not good. So what I would suggest is really sticking to probably two different study guides that you'll see on Amazon, and that's gonna be uh, the two most popular ones, which are the Smart Edition Academy book and the Metrics Secrets book. So both of those are really good books, and there's a couple differences which I can kind of point out here quickly. Um, you'll see with the Metrics Secrets book, it has the most reviews, it's got you know 10,000 reviews, but that's because it's been on for so long. It's been on Amazon for five or six years, so naturally it has uh, those reviews. But it is a really good resource. Um, it's a book that you know doesn't have errors and things like that in it. Uh, some people say the science section is not as good for that book, but other than that, you can't go wrong, it's a good resource. Now if we talk about the Smart Edition Academy book, this book is really good. Obviously, I'm a little biased, but one of the great things about it is that it's printed in color. So for things like the science section, the illustrations, or a cross-section of a cell, all that stuff makes a lot more sense when you have color diagrams and illustrations and it's not like a faint black and white. So that's one thing that helps. And then we tend to make our books to be a lot less wordy, so it's not dense text, which is what you're gonna find really in every other book. Uh, and then the other thing that's great about it is it comes with online resources. So you get practice tests and uh, video lessons and flashcards when you buy that book. It comes with it as an online resource. So check those two books out. Those are going to be your best bets. I probably steer clear of everything else. This is it. The number one resource for the ATI TEAS is going to be a really good online course. And the reason why I recommend an online course as one of the best resources is that, one, it's online, so you can have it in your pocket, you can use it on your mobile phone, you can take it anywhere, but two, they really encompass a lot of things that you don't get in uh, books or other things like that, and the good thing about them is that they pull together all these different resources, right? So I just gave you 10 resources, and if you weren't learning this from this video, you would probably have to spend a lot of time going out and finding good resources, and again, you don't really know what's good and what's not and is this kind of specific to the T's so you kind of have to hodgepodge together all these things and that's totally fine it's a little bit time consuming to do that you're you're spending your time putting those resources together instead of actually studying so that's what's great about online courses they pull all this information together for you it's the exact topics that are on the test and so that's why they're helpful another thing you want to look for when you are looking for online courses is that it has a variety of materials in different uh, styles so you might be more of a audio visual type of learner so you really want to make sure that it has video lessons that would be an important part for the course you don't want to get stuck having to read you know 400 page web pages of just dense content you want to be able to mix that up uh, other things you can look for is just kind of extra things like flashcards are really helpful um, and you want to make sure it has a good number of practice tests so if you're seeing things that have two or three practice tests it's not really that much you're gonna run through those questions pretty quickly and you'll probably start to memorize them so you really want to have a good number number of practice tests. Uh, the Smart Edition Academy online course, for example, has eight practice tests and it's over 1300 questions. So when we talk about other things that even have like five practice tests, it's really not enough. I would really suggest, you know, getting as many practice tests as you can because towards the end of your studying, that's where you're going to want to be putting most of your time. And you want to make sure they have good answer explanations and rationales because that's a way that you can also learn. So a lot of other online courses just have like one or two sentences uh, for the explanation. So you want to make sure you're actually getting a lot in there. And that's something Smart Edition Academy definitely provides for you. 
So those are online courses and that's your number one resource. Now in our next video, we're gonna go over the best ways to create a study plan, the best ways to strategize how you're gonna study so that you can really prepare for the test and pass the test. Uh, so we get that question all the time, people asking, how do I prepare, what do I do, where do I even start? There's so much to know. That's what that video is gonna be about, so check that out. And then you can check out right up here, you're gonna see some videos that will also help you out to prepare for the TEAS. Smart Edition has a ton of videos on our YouTube channel, so check out those videos, but also check out our playlist for the TEAS. And if you have any resources that you highly recommend, drop them in the comments below, and we'll make sure to add them uh, into our next video, and it'll also just help everybody out, and that's what we're all about, uh, getting everybody the best resources that they can find. So help us out with that and leave a comment below. And we wish you luck on the test, and we'll see you in the next video.